flashing back the little platypus. Uh, they probably weren't as uh, revered as some of the other groups, Ohio Players, Lakeside, Slave, Faso, for that matter, but they were a formidable band. Did you know that they got a record deal because Roberta Flack heard them? Really? Yes. That well, really? I, Casablanca record label. I can tell you why Platypus wasn't as revered. Okay, why is that? Have you seen a platypus? Like Duck Wing Duck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Uh, it's time for <laughs> <Ra -pow. laughs> <laughs> uh, Trending with uh, Jazz. Take it away, girl. Ooh, we I had to catch my breath on that one, y'all. That would that would send me somewhere. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Justins.com says that LeBron James launches affordable housing unit for up to 50 families. The NBA Legends Foundation celebrated the grand opening of the I Promise Housing Development. Clearly, LeBron James is as good a human being as he is a basketball player. His foundation recently celebrated the grand opening of the I Promise Housing Development, which will provide 50, 50 y'all, affordable units in Akron, Ohio. That's good. That's good. That is That's excellent. Good. Thank you, yeah, LeBron. Yeah, yeah. Kudos, if, LeBron. If more of our, our, um, our heroes could do that, I think well, we you know what? Even, even LeBron, their jazz. Mm -hmm. He's so rich after a while, he's going to own the color blue. Man. That's, that's, that's what he yeah. Come on. You go, Ronnie. Man. You can go, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. buy some in my neighborhood. Anyway, <laughs> EssentiallySports.com <laughs> says that after cutting several jobs, Dwayne Johnson will now invest millions to upgrade the XFL to the next level by 2024. Hmm. Reports st stated that um, The Rock has had to make some hard decisions and um, some tough decisions. He has also had to cut jobs at the XFL. That's to preserve money so that they can be continue to be um, lively. But wait a minute, isn't there a, another semi-pro level of football player? Level like yeah, USFL is winding down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I watch that every Saturday. That's and it's better. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. better than the XFL. Well, I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and I approve this message. But what I don't understand <laughs> is why Dwayne keep, keep getting me um, getting involved with these projects. Can you smell started. what I'm cooking? Because I can't smell him anymore. You can he smell what The Rock is back. cooking. He need to come on back to the, to the ring, the square ring. Well, yeah, yeah. if I can interject, uh, mm -hmm. the USFL is the closest to. The being NFL? the NFL. That's if right. I could, is that like, that? To me, I thought that was like arena football yeah, arena to me. Football. Yeah, that's so what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the XFL? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is. USFL is actually... It's, yeah, it it's the semi-pro. of the national football. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm sorry, gentlemen. They, they, they doing the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vibe.com says that the 2023 Black Music Honors was an affair to remember. Mm -hmm. Despite the mishaps circulating on social media... I don't know what those are, but mm -hmm. anywho, mm -hmm. the 2023 Black Music Honors was a beautiful celebration for us. This year's show honored the likes of Missy Elliott, mm -hmm. SWV, mm -hmm. Evelyn Champagne King, mm -hmm. and Jeffrey Osborne okay. with performances from Anthony Hamilton, Robin Thicke, um, Sven Streeter, I don't know who oh, that okay. is. Seven. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hi, that's how they spell seven? Yeah. Oh, wait. Go back, yeah. go back to school. Josh, <laughs> Queen, N Nigel, David Banner, and Juvenile, the Schindlers, and 702 and others. So that sounds good to me. I seen that. I seen that. That was a great program. Really? It was a great program. I heard it was. Great program. I was very impressed with well, that. You saw Jeffrey, Os Jeffrey Osborne. So he was. He was nice. Did you woo woo woo? Yeah, I did. Oh, he, and and I, he brought his oh, wife man. on stage too. Did and he oh, thanked his wife. Us the woo -woo? Yeah, yeah, he thanked his wife for it. when he left LTD. He thought. It was his it was career a was over. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And his wife supported him. I yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah. Great success. Uh, maybe so if I was a wife, I would support him. I met him when he came to Dayton. You met uh, Jeffrey? Mm -hmm. We got to talk about that mm -hmm. after this. Yes. I met Jeffrey, uh, the giraffe from uh, Stars Are Us. <laughs> With the wrong <laughs> head. Really? That don't really? no. We can talk about wrong, that a wrong, little bit. Wrong, Jeffrey. Wrong, Jeffrey. Moving Jeffrey. on, gentlemen. My bad. LATimes.com says that Brad Pitt goes off on Angelique Jolie. Vindictive winery sale. Did y'all hear about that? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's crazy. And she fires back. 
Pitts accusing his ex-wife Angelina Jolie of secretly selling her stake in their Chateau Miravella. Mm -hmm. How you say that? Chateau? Mm -hmm. A wine, this is a wine, wine, wine business. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a chateau. Yeah, chateau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not shadow, chateau. Mm -hmm. Chateau. Okay. Chateau. 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 Uh -huh. French. We so, <laughs> we <laughs> with her. We and she said she he did that to get back at her. She did that to get back at him mm -hmm. for a bunch of other stuff that happened in their marriage, such as him abusing her and the kids. Mm -hmm. I don't know, no, y'all. No, no. mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't go. I don't go for putting hands on unless mm -hmm. you're praying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but something on, on the better part of the news. Did y'all hear about that Amazon plane plane that crashed in the Amazon with four children? Yeah, 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 that was yeah. something. And yeah. I'm telling you, you know when it ain't your time, it ain't your time. Yeah, guess not. Everybody else on that plane um, went. They, they, it was their time. Um, but the children, they, they survived off the three kilograms of farina. That's six pounds of farina. Hmm. And, um, no buckwheat, huh? No buckwheat. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> no, in the group. But the indigenous, with their indigenous origins, um, they learned how to do a lot of things. You know, teach your children. Um, how to survive, and that's what they they did survive off of sitting in big trees, staying away from the animals and the headhunters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been trending with Jasmine, where you got slapped with the news. We sure did. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. There. How about a uh, little slave? I think they were singing to you. Do you like it, girl? Yes, I do. All right, this is the Tate and Seed Radio Show.